Hi everyone, uh, due to some misunderstanding and miscommunication among our group members, I had to send my part of the discussion separately, so you can watch mine right after watching this. So, most of our questions, uh, most of our questions were uh, related to economics, but we also included psychology, cultural anthropology, and so that the answers we got also had history in it. Firstly, I want to talk about the consumption habits of different cultures and how these habits are constructed. To construct these habits, we need ways of knowing, and to see what accounts for this, we need areas of knowledge, such as cultural anthropology, history, and economics. I would like to start out by proverbs, and thus the influence of language and faith, while constructing consumption habits of an individual belonging to culture X. When we asked Niska about the proverbs, the one she thought of was Dame Dame Gerilur, and now what I come up is Ayana Yorga Megerilzat. And these proverbs actually promote forehandedness and like thriftiness. It, it advises people to keep a balance bet between their incomes and outcomes. I believe this has some connection to Islamic, back Islamic religious background, our Islamic religious background, because Islam in its culture advises people to do with less, you know. For example, when we look at Islamic mysticism, uh, we see that it avoids greed and it's like strongly uh, condemns greed. When we compare this to Western civilizations, I remember Professor Hugo talking about credit card based consumption habits, which promotes people to consume more and more even without noticing it. So, when we go back to investigate its root, uh, we see the imperialist and capitalist background of Western societies. This is, I believe, a fundamental example for how cultural anthropology, economics, history are integrated when we compare the conception habits of different cultures. Secondly, I want to talk about emotion as a way of knowing, to discuss what feelings make us uh, consider ourself as X and like if these feelings are developed independently or not which corresponds to one of our knowledge questions. Our math teacher for example stated in her interview that the emotions that make us feel like an X are imposed on us by our family and the society and she would try to preserve her identity as a Turk even if she faces an alien culture. Whereas Professor Hugo claimed that he, uh, he himself decides if he wants to adopt to an alien culture or not. I think we cannot really say our emotions about our culture and nation is just something imposed because even though some part of it is shared and based on something collective, I believe everyone has their own way of experiencing a culture, thus own way of developing an ex-identity, which is being a Turk in this case. For example, me and my sister can have different feelings to our nation because of the different experiences we went through. For example, the international summer camp I attended last summer completely changed my perception of a culture and kind of like decreased my patriotic feelings. I also believe that as one gets to know different cultures, their understanding and perception of feeling like an ex would also change. I mean, we can see it from the Banaja and Professor Hugo example. I think this is related to our experiences on how much we were able to cross the borders and became a citizen of the world. So in short, I believe our emotions are dependent on others to some extent, but the rest we build it upon our own experiences and which makes up our own personal knowledge. We uh, also learned, this is an, I think, interesting information. We also learned from Madame Aziz's interview that our feelings toward the nation X are not necessarily dependent on the biological race we come from. Because Madame Aziz told us that after Spanish Jews' uh, expulsion, she didn't feel like a Spanish anymore because she grew up in Turkey. She felt like a Turk even though she is biologically from Spain. We understand that where we grow up, grow up and where we are exposed to such impositions Ms. Kaya mentioned 
and very experience our own personal lo knowledge is directly related to our feelings of belongingness. If Madamazis didn't feel like he belonged to Turkey, he wouldn't. She wouldn't say she felt like a Turk. She would say, "I'm biologically from, uh, I'm biologically from Spain, so I should feel like a Spanish." But instead, she feels like a um, Turkish because she, her feeling of belongingness lays in Turkey. So, all in all, we understand that economics cultural anthropology, psychology and history, these all contribute to how we feel like an X, how we feel like as an X. And while we construct such feelings, uh, integrating these areas of knowledge I mentioned, economic psychology, history and cultural anthropology, we use such ways of knowing like memory, which is the collective memory of a culture, I mean the Islamic culture or the um, the capitalist and imperialist, imperialist culture, or for example, for Madame Madamazi's case, it's the Spanish expulsion. We use language, which is obvious, the proverbs. We use state, which is the religious background, and which is the, uh, I mean, the religious background, I mean the Islamic background, suggesting us uh, to do it less. These, these are ways of knowing. Uh, we use them while constructing the feelings. Uh, we have towards uh, our nation. So I believe this is all I have to say. So excuse me for uh, doing this video late. I think it's all. Bye.